نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون اما بعد brothers and sisters in islam i just want to advise you on myself with regards to uh, maulud al nabawi you know the birthday parties that people do for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi out of love but you see this these kind of things are something that have been innovated after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his lifetime he has never practiced he has never practiced such thing nor the Sahaba and we were commanded to follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يَحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ نُومَكُمْ if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say, O oh Muhammad, follow me, then Allah will love you. If you want Allah to love you, Allah to be pleased with you, day like this, yeah, day people celebrate these things, or any other day, you want to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in all, all aspects of life. Not just to celebrate and then forget about him for the rest of the year. The Sahaba, we were commanded to follow the Sahaba as well. Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa al rashidin al mahdiyin upon you is my way and the way of the Sahaba Khulafa al rashidin Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman uh, and Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in These are the people, our role models we should be following and none of them, none of them has practiced such things and subhanallah these practices you see how far they go sometimes there is no limit to it we are imitating like, like the non-Muslims now some are even dancing subhanallah holding domes, green domes, and with regards to the green dome, there was no green dome at the time of the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Masjid al Nabi did not have any domes to, all, to begin with. The dome came afterwards. So subhanAllah, we are adoring and loving things that came after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We should be following only him, only what he has acted upon. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with regards to Eid, he said, we have two Eids. Eid al Eid al Fitr or Eid al Adha. So we can't bring, we can't legislate as Muslims, we cannot make up an Eid. We did not make up fasting, Ramadan, Allah is the one who legislated. We followed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that. Salah, Allah is the one who has legislated. Hajj, Allah is the one who has legislated. So the deen is being legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So is the Eid. So therefore, for us to legislate a new Eid and call it a birthday party of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi like the Christians do nowadays, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَالَفُ الْيَهُودَ وَالنَّصَارَىٰ Be different to the Jews and Christians. But we, fo we just follow in their footsteps. You know what? We're not again saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His angels do that. And Rasulullah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also commanded us, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu tuslima. O you who believe, send your salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu tuslima. We have to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim, inna ka hamidu ju, as much as we can. Not the day he was born, any other day, especially on Fridays, that's the best time. So brothers and sisters, if you really love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you really love the Sahaba, if you really love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, imitate him, imitate him. Let your life, all aspects of your life, be according to his lifestyle. And that's what will save you. Wallahi, when you die, there's only three questions will be asked in your grave. Number one, who's your Lord? Number two, what's your religion? Who's, what's your way, what was your way of life? And number three, who was your role model? Who's your prophet? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He was sent to be an example for us Not to be celebrated and forgotten about the rest of the year So that's my advice to you Jazakumullah khair wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam ajma'in